From his relations with other men, man adds a new species of pleasure to those pleasurable sensations he derives from himself, whereby he significantly enlarges the domain of pleasurable sensations in general. Perhaps he has already inherited much that has its place here from the animals, who plainly feel pleasure when they play with one another, especially the mothers with the young. Then consider sexual relations, through which more or less every female appears interesting to every male with regard to the prospect of pleasure, and the reverse. To feel sensations of pleasure on the basis of human relations on the whole makes men better. Joy, pleasure, is enhanced when it is enjoyed together with others. It gives the individual security, makes him good-natured, banishes distrust and envy for one feels a sense of well-being, and sees that others are likewise feeling a sense of well-being. Similar expressions of pleasure awaken the fantasy of empathy, the feeling of being like something else. The same effect is produced by common sufferings, by experiencing bad weather, dangers, enemies in common. It is no doubt upon this that the oldest form of alliance is based the sense of which is that to act together to ward off and dispose of a threatening displeasure is of utility to each individual. And thus, the social instinct grows out of the feeling of pleasure.